I'm Rachel, and I am your local Griffin tech expert. Tech, is that a thing? Te tech expert. Well, for those of you, I am your local Griffin tech expert, and I am here with you today to discuss what is a computer, what makes it good, and maybe, hopefully, what all of that means. Today, on 5 Minutes of Tech with Griffin. I that phrase, text expert. I don't know. Oh, whatever. That's five minutes of tech with people. So, did you catch up? Did you get the skirt? Because people. That's five minutes of tech with Griffin people. <laughs> yeah, the skirt's pretty nice. I like the skirt. Oh. So today's Griffin shoutouts go to Logan, Lex, Tristan, Mom, Dad. Virgil, Kenneth, John, Doriana, Stephen, Lori, and Carrie. And that was a long list. But if you want to be on a Griffin shout out, leave some positive, amazing, great comments down below. And we'll do our best to get everybody on to today's tech topic. What is a computer? A computer is any electronic device that stores and processes data. What does that mean? Well, if you have a coffee maker, guess what? You have a computer. Well, I mean, the coffee maker, you know, that you put on a timer and it like wakes up and it makes coffee for you first thing in the morning, that's a computer because it stores and processes data. Yeah. If you drive a car, you have a computer in your car. It tells you when your headlights out. Well, some of them do. <laughs> There's a computer in every car. Um, if you have TV with DVR, guess what? You have a computer. Um, any programmable device, your VCR, is that going? Is that going back way? That's going back way too far. I'm it's not supposed to say VCR. Whoo! Any electronic device that stores and processes data is a computer makes it pretty simple. Anything from coffee machines all the way down to your lowliest car and you have an electronic device that stores and processes data. Now the question is, is how are those things measured? Well, everything computer related is measured in bits, bytes, and hertz. Okay? Bits, bytes, and hertz. Bits measure speed, bytes measure size, and hertz measure frequency. So, whether or not it's bits, bytes, or hertz, there's always a smaller bit and a larger bit. And there's always a smaller byte and a larger byte, and a smaller hertz and a... I'm doing this too much. There's a smaller hertz and a larger hertz just for the theatrics. When it comes to bits, bytes, and hertz, you don't have to worry about which one is smaller and which one is larger because no matter whether it's bits, bytes, or hertz, it's always measured in kilo, mega, giga, and tera. So you have kilo, mega, giga, and tera bits, you have kilo, mega, giga, and tera bytes, and you have kilo, mega, giga, tera hertz. So kilo is the smallest, Megabytes is a little bit bigger, gigabytes is a little bit bigger than that, and terabytes is the biggest, well, I mean, there's bigger, I mean, there's bigger than terabytes. However, <laughs> that's as big as we're going to go. Kilo, mega, giga, tera. So, you'll often see it as kilobits, megabits, gigabits, or terabits when we're talking about speed. You'll see it as kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes when you're talking about size, and you'll see it as kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz, and terahertz when we're talking about frequency. By the way, <sighs> frequency is how fast it takes something to get from point A to point B and back. That's frequency. When we talk about size, it's how big something is and how much it can store. So it's more size and volume like how much can you put in a cup? Well, you can put a cup in a cup. When we talk about speed, it's how fast you can go. Just speed. Speed is easy. So, back to the main point. Bits, bytes, hertz is how we measure things. And then you have kilo, bits, megabits, gigabits, terabits, 
or kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes, kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz, and that's a lot of hertz. So when you look at buying your next computer, make sure that you're getting the most bits, bytes, and hertz for the least amount of money, and you'll be doing yourself a huge favor. So hopefully you've learned in five minutes or less what bits, bytes, and hertz are, that's how we measure how good your computer is, what a computer is, anything that stores and processes data, and that just about covers everything that's in this video. For more 5 Minutes of Tech with Griffin, an explanation on anything we've watched today, or any other information, or for assistance, please don't hesitate to contact us at www.griffintraining.net. And there is so much more coming! Thanks so much for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Oh, we're not saying that? Okay, don't. Yes, share, like, and subscribe. But we're not asked. We're saying please, please share, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much.